Are you married anyways? <laughs> I am not married. Okay. Are you dating? I am dating. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what would you do if you found a penguin in your freezer? It just, just hopped out. I would check for a heartbeat. <laughs> what, if, what if it was like alive? Like, alive? What would you do with it? Or what would you do? Oh, man. Never eat sardines again. <laughs> Never eat sardines again. Take it to the zoo. All very good. You know what? Eat it was one of my first responses in my mind. Just deeply penguin, right? I don't know. They're probably just like mostly fat. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But doesn't the carrot really like penguins? Yeah, maybe I'd uh, be like, when carrot get over here, there's a penguin in my freezer. <laughs> well, if it was a baby. That'd be even better than I could hold it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What if it's an emperor penguin with teeth? And he's angry. I'd close the freezer and not open it again. <laughs> it would stay in there. <laughs> do, do you have a different work? The work yeah. I have right now is I am an electrical apprentice. <laughs> it's not that. And you're anyway. dating. Your life is going sweet. <laughs> yeah, I'm an electrical apprentice. I work construction and I do condos and apartments. We do yeah. the wiring, the plugs, the switches, that kind of stuff. It is kind of interesting, kind of not. What do you think of garden gnomes? <laughs> I, I don't see enough of them. They're, they're, they're so popular in cartoons and everything and media, but when do you actually see a garden gnome, right? Since Logan is in here, I'll ask a question that I'm pretty sure he would ask. Uh, what kind, what musical artiste um, do you like, or what kind of music are you into? Like, if you had to do like a top five or top ten. So my favorite artist is probably NF. He's a he's a rapper. I and I do support him because he does not swear in his lyrics, and they have substance. So go check him out. Just came out with a new song. It's very good. Nice, nice. Uh, as far as genres, probably I try and stick to C H H. Stands for Christian hip hop. And there's a lot of good stuff out there that is not very popular, but it is out there, and it's it's it it it, it is hard to find. It did take me a couple of years to accumulate a bunch of artists. They get only like thousands of views, so it's hard to find them if you don't know they exist. So yeah, yeah. Have you ever wanted to look like Archie from Riverdale? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that guy is just a, like such a. Dense rugby player man. <laughs> Why does this happen to me? So, yeah, I'd want to look like him. Your favorite superhero, and would you want to be him or her? I guess I can have both. Favorite superhero, would you want to be him or her? You know, I've always liked Spider Man. Because yeah. he's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, I would definitely want to be Spider Man. <laughs> but the web, now he's dead. <laughs> Cut the web, now he's dead. Yes, I have. I have. I love it. Too many and times to count. I do want to rewatch it. What's your dream car? My ca dream car. The Nissan 370Z. I love that car. There's one parked on Glenway right before Monsoon. It's a red one on the left side. I look at it every time I pass it. <laughs> I would definitely want a white and red color scheme. I know it's basic, but I don't care. And I would definitely get underglow on it. And I would definitely put subwoofers in the trunk and be very obnoxiously loud. But I would not get an aftermarket exhaust. That's, that's where I draw the line. Yeah. Would you buy NOS or, or nitrous oxide for you? <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> it sounds expensive. Yeah. <laughs> I have one more question. First, which is your favorite, either pop or candy, and which is your favorite pop or candy? Mm. I'll have to say candy. I'm a fan of chewy candies, so let's go with Caramel. Laffy Taffy. Oh, come just, on. Or airheads. Airheads are Thank you. Just do airheads, please. Oh, okay, airheads. <laughs> if Justin was here, he would ask it. Is, uh, how ripped are you on a scale of 1 to 10? <laughs> a 6. Six Leave it. 
16. <laughs> six and a half. Okay, six and a half. All right. So, what made you want to become a youth leader there, William? As when I was a wee baby boy. Oh, come I on! <laughs> <laughs> and I was in youth myself. I, I I really enjoyed the leaders. I had plenty of conversations with them, man. Like, shout out to that guy with a big bushy beard right there. He was my youth leader. And just, yeah, just... <laughs> and it's, uh, yeah, just they made the experience that much better. And I thought I want to do that for other people. So. When did God become real to you? So when was it like, I know you kind of grew up, your parents took you to church. When did it kind of stop being your parents' feet? And when did it kind of become your own? Like, I think I was 16. I, yeah, you said how old was I, right? Yeah. 16, I think. I think it was when I was in grade 11. I started coming on Wednesdays at youth and started actually actively trying to expose myself to Christian conversations and conversations about God. And, you know, like, yeah. So just trying to actively pursue learning about Him. And I think that happened in grade 11. What's your favorite brand of shoes? Yeezy. Yeezy. <laughs> no, uh, Skechers are pretty cool, very comfortable. Do I own a pair? No. Have I in years? No. But that's the next pair I want to get. That is just sad. That's just that's, sad. That's not sad. Every year They're I've cool. Had, every year I've had Skechers. I'm going to show up with light up Skechers and you're going to be so jealous. <laughs> I'm going to be like, and they're just going to light up and your mind is going to be blown. New Zealand, because I w I'm, I still am, but I think paramotors are a really cool thing. It's basically like a one-man flying machine, and this guy went to New Zealand, and it was just breathtaking, and I'm like, I want to go there. Maybe not paramotor, because that's really expensive, but New Zealand, definitely. Um, if you could own, like, as in a pet, what would be, like, it could be anything, like, anything. it could be a tiger. It's friendly. It could, it could be a mouse. Any size, whatever, what would be your ideal pet? You're rich. Not even ideal, it could be. You're rich. Zabumafu, the, the lemur from Blue's Clues. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, there's no lemur in Blue's Clues. Yeah. Dang it, isn't there? You, maybe, anyways. There's a dog and a man. Oh, okay. Oh, a lemur. Let's, yeah, let's go with a lemur. Uh, if you were just given an elephant, and you could give it away or sell it, what would you do with the elephant? It would take me lo longer to get to work, but you know, hey, uh, <laughs> they don't take gas, so <laughs> I would take that baby to work. A limited food supply. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, if someone else is like. Just, all you have to do is buy a bunch of peanuts. Yeah. And every 15 minutes, you just feed them one peanut. Exactly. I would just go to Five Guys and get some free peanuts. And exactly. Then, yeah, yes. Five Guys has peanuts. Yes. I don't know if they have currently. Last time I went, they weren't giving them out. But well, when I there's not COVID coming. in the air. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have a question for William Friesen, we didn't ask. Ask it in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. If you have ideas for future videos you'd like to see Albright Youth create, let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.